Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in this, I was gonna say this morning. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in this week to this Georgia Clay. We have missed you being off that last week, but it was well-deserved. Um, again, Jalen turned 15 years old. We were supposed to go to Disneyland in California, but unfortunately we were unable to go because of Hurricane Ian. So we live here in Georgia and Governor Kemp had issued a state of an emergency for the state of Georgia. So it kind of messed up flights all over and, and everything like that. But obviously we didn't have any particular weather that impacted us but our prayers go out to everyone in Florida that was impacted. It's just a terrible circumstances, especially holidays are so close and people being without their homes and things like that. But again, those are material items, but your life can never be replaced. So our hearts go out to them. Um, so this weekend in this Georgia Clay, we are visiting our mother, my mother-in-law again. Um, we're doing a project in her home. I know when we first started the channel, a lot of people thought that um, the channel was going to focus on both builds or both homes. Um, it did in the beginning, it focused on her build as well as our build, our build as well. And we were grateful to her because there was a lot of period of time that we didn't have anything going on in our home. So we would showcase her house. Um, but as time has, um, you know, changed and things and people have changed as well. And we're all settling into our homes. Uh, we just provide her with her own privacy and the channel was never to be focused on both homes. It was just something that we were doing um, to provide her with that memory so she can, you know, see how building her home here in Georgia with us because this is our first time building within the same neighborhood, um, buying a home at the same time. So it was a big milestone for both of us. Um, but the channel focuses on our home and our lifestyle and things like that. But um, it was nice to be able to go back over to her house and we'll show you some projects that we've completed over there as well as this one. So we are building her this week a fireplace in her room. Um, with our fireplace in our room, it will always be near and dear to me because it's the first one that we've ever built. The first one that we you know, took on such a huge project that we didn't even think that we could do. Um, if you guys have been with us from the very beginning, when we first did our Q and A and we said how we were able to afford our home and all those things. But in that QA, Q and A, we said that we are not DIYers. Um, we would probably hire someone to do things, but we wanted to try, but it's amazing how trying has turned into something that's now lucrative where we have clients and we build projects within their own home. Actually today, um, we're videoing this intro um the day of an install that we have to do for another fireplace for someone else so we have been extremely busy and fortunate and i appreciate each and every one of you guys friday we hit another milestone of 9,000 subscribers so yay so excited about that um again with starting the channel it was just to basically you know show for us to be able to look back out look back at our build in our home but not something that it has turned into but i can't imagine our lives without it now and this georgia clay is my heart and soul and i love it so especially when i see you guys in in person and you guys say hi miss georgia clay and i love it so yeah i miss georgia clay um so anyways in this vlog um we did partner with rw flame for her fireplace insert so you guys will see that as well there also will be a link in the description so you guys can save or order the same exact one um but it has been a it's coming full circle as far as being able to do come back to her house and do a project and update you guys in that aspect um because she she helped start this georgia clay so it's only fitting to be able to go back to her home and do a project as well and it was easy too because we only live like two minutes away so it was easy um bringing the materials over and then also working around our our, high, our lifestyle and work and things like that as well so let's go ahead and get into the vlog So let's start this frame guys um so i wanted the total width of the fireplace to be about 72 ish inches wide um and then for the height my mom picked about 44 inches tall um to kind of stay underneath her tv um instead of doing a full fireplace like we have in our master bedroom 
But uh, anyways, I had already cut pieces. Um, these are all two by fours making up the frame. So I cut about, uh, yeah, I cut four pieces at 44 inches tall and then four more pieces um, at 69 and a half inches. Um, because once you take the other pieces, the side pieces into account, the total width is about 72 and a half inches um, before you put your surround and all that, you know, all the extra finishing touches on. Um, and we put everything together with pocket holes, which man, if you don't have a pocket hole jig, make sure you get one because it's like one of the best tools you can have in your garage. Um, but yeah, once I got that put together, it was basically rinse and repeat for the second piece. Talked about everything that was on our mind. Talking to you gave me butterflies. Then you took my hand and said, let's leave now. Don't wanna be shy. All right, so here's where we had to create our bracing to go in between our two pieces of the frame. Uh, so when you think about a two by four, right, it's really three and a half inches wide by one and a half inches thick. So taking that into account, in order to get my 10 to 11 inch depth, uh, I needed to cut each of these braces to about seven inches. Um, and I did that by actually, I have th this saw that I have is a Bauer from uh, Harbor Freight. It does come with a stop uh, stop block on the end of it, but it was a, a little too long for what I needed. So if you guys don't have this on your saw, you can actually create one by just getting a scrap piece of wood and clamping it directly to the saw. And then, uh, you know, once you get a position where you need it, it makes it super easy to get uh, those repeat cuts down and, uh, you know, just knock them out. And here I'm just using two and a half inch construction screws. Um, these kinds, they don't actually need any pre-drilling. Um, so that's why I keep using those for basically everything I do. Uh, but yeah, just uh, using those to get the two sides connected and that creates the rectangular shape that we need for the fireplace. So we decided to go with half inch thick MDF for the surround of the fireplace because it provides a really smooth surface to paint on top of um, and it just worked out for us. So it was pretty economical, it was about 40, I think 40 bucks a sheet and we actually had Home Depot cut it for us and then we used the, the, the off cut or the rest, the remaining piece to actually create the sides, the left and the right side. So we only needed one sheet for this project which was really cool. And as much as we love to have every tool at the store, sometimes you just kind of got to work with what you got. So if you don't have a track saw, because those things can get kind of expensive, uh, you can actually take the circular saw if you have one. You can get those pretty cheap. Um, and just measure the distance from the blade to the edge of your guard. And then put the, you know, you can put any kind of scrap piece or a level or anything with a straight edge up against that line and then make your cut. Your, you know, if you need to make a long rip and it worked just fine for me.
dreaming so much lately about your face when you're smiling it's the only thing that saves me mm -mm. hey i don't know if i told you that i think you're beautiful and how i can't wait to hold you okay so can we talk about this beautiful mantle so matt made the mantle and it came out so good um, we used the edge glued panel, um, which is the same kind of panel that's in our built-in. And then he used some one by twos around the corner just to give it more fullness and thickness um, to create an overhang for her for her fireplace. And it looks so good. So the panels, or excuse me, the edging on the sides are one by two. And then we used that edge glued panel. So it looks so good here. So he went ahead and mitered everything, used some wood glue as well as some nails. And then he's going to get it ready for sanding and then I'll go ahead and stain it. I don't want to be without you. This is something that I know for sure. It's just something so this is not the original stain that I purchased for her fireplace mantle. I actually purchased um, Men Wax and the stain color was called Slate. But then when I started to use the slate on a sample piece, which thank goodness I did not put it on the actual piece, which I always want to use a sample piece first, it was like too much of a gray wood tone. Um, so we ended up having some other stain on hand, which is a walnut stain that we used in Jalen's bedroom that goes over his accent wall. And it actually came out so good. Um, I had her come over just to see, you know, if she wanted more stain or not. Uh, she did ask for a little bit more stain, so we were able to come to a good compromise. And I absolutely love it. So we did go ahead and remove part of her baseboard. Uh, we asked her first, it's not a required step, but it does provide a little bit more of a flush um, finish. So that's something that we did go ahead and do and it gives a little tighter fit, but it's not required that you remove the baseboard. Um, so that's something that you can opt in or opt out. I don't talk about me in the comments. I know I'm I'm hitting this thing with my hand, but you know, uh, I don't think I had the mallet nearby. Um, but yeah, a rubber mallet would definitely help get that thing driven in there a little bit more. But hey, like I said, you gotta use the tools you got. And my hand was the, the closest thing. So once the baseboards were removed and Matt was able to get the caulking off, um, we went ahead and secured the frame to the wall. So he just used some construction screws to make sure that it went inside of each stud. Um, he made sure to have the proper um, spacing on both sides. And as you can see here, the TV was off. So we do fix that. Um, when she got her TV mounted, she had the installer mounted to um, be centered to the room when the door was open because she keeps her door open um so that was interesting i hadn't heard someone um request that but she wanted to have you know that done so it was when we went to go ahead and install the fireplace it caused the tv to seem off centered even though it was centered to how she wanted it with the door open um so that's something to consider when you're uh, mounting any tvs or anything it's an easy fix just to change it up if you were to add a fireplace um, but yeah, that was the first time that we actually encountered a situation like that where to us it seemed like the TV was off-centered, but when you step back, it was centered to her bed. So, yeah. So 
for this portion of the vlog, we did partner with RW Flame again. Um, as you guys know that um, they did partner with us for our fire table on our back deck. We absolutely love. We're going to be able to spend more time out there and utilize it because of the fall weather. And I cannot wait. I was just telling my neighbor that I want to have some nights with Matt by the fire. So we're going to have to get that started. But um, I do want to thank them. So if you visit the description box down below, there'll be a link for this particular fireplace on their website. They do sell additional items as well, household items, um, not just fireplaces, but it came out to be the perfect addition to her room. So as you can see here, we're just doing a quick test just to make sure that everything works like it's supposed to. And as we expected, it did. Um, so it actually has 12 different flame colors that you can change. And not only can you change the color of the flame, you can change the color of the, the flame bed down at the bottom. So that was pretty cool. And it actually has a remote with a timer. Um, you can change it in, uh, I believe, one or two hour increments. And it also has five different speeds and five different flame levels you can change also. So it's really versatile, very flexible, and uh, we'll go ahead and put a link down below if you guys are interested. So anytime that you're building a fireplace, you're gonna wanna make sure that you do a dry fit of where you're wanting to actually build the support system to house the fireplace on. Um, so it would kind of suck if you built everything out and then it was either too high or too low So we just try to dry fit everything before we actually build the supportive frame Okay, so this is for everyone that thinks that I don't do anything when we work on these projects. Okay, so little disclaimer, I am the project manager, the designer, I am the support system, and the painter. Matt builds everything else, that's his forte, but I wanted to make sure this time around, I was like, well, let me try it. Now, I kept stripping the screw, but when I would get it, like, your girl was so excited. So, I have to give myself a little pat on the back because I finally got at least two I think of those screws to go in properly but it's just it's not my thing um, you know everyone has their niche my niche is designing stuff and spending money and Matt's niche is keeping the budget um, in line and allowing me to have that creative um, choice so that's that's our thing so we complement each other very well so if anyone was asking no I do not build anything I leave it up to my husband
one of the perks of my mother-in-law living down the street, not even down the street, like she's literally less than a two minute walk away, but is I can come and finish projects for her at any time within my leisure. Um, when I'm doing projects for clients, of course, Matt and I are usually there bright and early. Um, but when it comes to doing projects down the street, you know, we can kind of, and for family, we can kind of change a little things. But um, we're just getting ready to paint this right now and just taping off and making sure everything is nice and secure just to make sure that we're not getting any excess paint on her walls because we did know that we were going to want to spray the fireplace. It just provides a more seamless look. Uh, so Matt's just putting on her trim piece to trim out her fireplace just to give it a nice modern look. I really love it because this is the first fireplace that we did without using shiplap and I just, it's absolutely gorgeous. And uh, we're gonna get ready to start our basement series. I can't wait to share that with you guys. And I'm still on the fence of what kind of fireplace I want downstairs. We will be building another fireplace and it's going to be epic. Um, but for this one, she really gave me some inspiration on this. And um, it was a fireplace that I had saw on Pinterest and I sent it over to her. And I know her and, you know, being with her son for 18 years, um, I should know her by now. But I figured this is something that goes right in line with her. It's simple. It's modern. It's contemporary. So... I figured that she would really like this design and I'm telling you it came out so beautiful. Alright guys, so we're back at my mother-in-law's house and we're going to finish up her beautiful fireplace here. We'll insert an inspo picture. Um, but yeah, so the fireplace we're almost done. We just need to put on her mantle. She's not here right now so we wanted to surprise her before she comes back from the grocery store. Um, but I just wanted to point out one project that we did complete for her already. Uh, let's take a look real quick. So I just wanted to update you guys. A lot of people ask like, when are we gonna get another tour of her home or anything? But for the most part, we created the channel to document both home builds, but just for a momentum, momentum for her so she can have something to show her build. But we have done projects in her home since she's closed. One of them being, which was our very first project for her, was her shiplap island in the front. So it does wrap around the full front and she went with the naval paint for the color on here on blue. And then she painted the front of the cabinets as well which this originally was white and it was drywall. So that was actually one of our first projects. She was our first client that we did a project for in her house. Here for the glasses. 
and then you can set on a timer, everything. It also has touch screen here as well, so you can use it from down here and change everything. So if I get me a fuzzy bearskin rug oh, and find me a man, you can lay right here next to the fire. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, guys, so thanks so much for tuning in this week to This Georgia Clay. I'm so glad that Lee loves her fireplace. I think it's very beautiful. It came out really good. Um, at first this was a lighter top and then she came over and said can you put a little bit more sand on it and I think she was dead on with that um, suggestion. I love it. It's beautiful. I even told Matt I was like this is nice. Like, So it's a special project because it's the first kind that we've done without shiplap. So <laughs> it's actually a first and she gets it in her home and I think it's gorgeous. So um, again thanks so much for RW Flame for partnering with us on this project. Um, I think she'll have this for years to come and it's beautiful. Bye guys. Thank you. <laughs> Gorgeous! I love it. It's, it's really nice. Gorgeous! <laughs> I absolutely love it. See? Well, something's got